why meditation might not be the right tool for you in this moment, and why so many of us struggle with meditation. And today I want to talk about this. But before, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Claire. I am a yoga embodiment teacher and I help people to release stress and trauma that is held within the body. So they are able to manifest a reality that they serve, a reality that is aligned with their truth. And one of the tools that I use is that of meditation. So today I want to bring in some clarity about meditation, about this amazing tool. And I'm sure that we all know that meditation has numerous benefits. But why do so many of us struggle with meditation? And let's imagine that you come from a busy day, you've had a long day, and you've had a stressful day, and then you come home at night and you want to sit down and you think that you're going to do a meditation to relax. But what happens, you start to be more overwhelmed and you start to feel maybe more anxious, or you have millions of thoughts and long to-do lists. So meditation starts to become nearly impossible. And what is happening here? So let's imagine that you have a dangerous animal running behind you. So you're running, you're in the fight and flight, you're running away from this dangerous animal. And then I come and I tell you, hey, let's sit and meditate. What will you reply to me? You think that I would be crazy, you tell me I can't sit and meditate. I can't sit and be still, I need to keep running. I need to run away, I need to fight because this energy, dangerous enemy is going to catch me. And the same things happen. So maybe after a long day of work, you don't have a dangerous enemy running behind you, but you have chronic stress, you have long to-do lists, and your nervous system, your body is in the fight and flight, so it's ready to take action. So meditation is nearly impossible. And actually there is nothing wrong with you. And it's not that you can't meditate or meditation is not for you. But maybe before sitting for meditation, you need to use practices and other tools that can support you in regulating your nervous system. And these can include yoga of embodiment practices, movement practices, somatic practices or breathing to bring your body into a regulated state. And I share a lot of this and I share more of this and a lot of practices also in my online space within the Embodied Voyage app, because I believe that this is a very important step First, to start to understand our nervous system and then to have practices where we can regulate our nervous system to be able to, yeah, to meditate and to access all the benefits that a meditation practice can give you. And another point can be also that you have been through traumatic experiences, you've had painful experiences, and the fact that you are going to sit down, close your eyes and feel what's within you uh, to be face to face with whatever is happening within your body that might be overwhelming for you in this moment and that's also okay i just want to remind you not to judge yourself but to be compassionate on your journey on your journey of meditation on your journey of reconnecting back to yourself maybe at this point in time meditation is not the right thing maybe you can work with shifting the emotion or having awareness with your emotions or to just titrate, to take small steps into understanding what emotions, what is this pain trying to show me before actually sitting, closing the eyes and meditating. And I hope that this short video supported you. And if you are somehow giving up on your meditation practice, please don't do so. Remember that there are different tools to use depending where you are within your body in this moment. And maybe meditation is not the right tool for you in this moment. So start to work first with your nervous system. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, press like. And also you can feel free to share your feedback, to share any struggles that you are currently facing on your meditation journey. Thank you so much for being here.